Welcome to This Organized Life. If you're a mom, wife, or coffee lover seeking advice on how to reduce clutter and reclaim time, look no further than your host, Lori Palau, founder of Simply Be Organized and author of Hot Mess, A Practical Guide to Getting Organized. For a lot of people, clutter is their dirty little secret, but it doesn't have to be. Each week, we will share practical tips, chat with experts, and provide strategies on how to keep you organized. I hope that by sharing our stories, you feel a little less alone and more empowered to tackle the areas that are holding you back. So let's get started. Mom guilt is another thing that I hear a lot when it comes to, because moms are still the, women are still the primary caregiver. and. Mm -hmm. All of the things, whether it's carrying the mental load of schedules or the physical logistical things of getting kids to and from. And I, yeah. I, I don't know the actual st statistic. You might know it, but I, I'd like to believe that there's a little bit more of a equitable balance since the pandemic with people being mm -hmm. hybrid where more, you know, people working from home or flex schedules, that's not yeah. all on one person. But I still think that's a very real thing where being afraid to lean in because they mm -hmm. feel like it's what, what are we going to, what am I going to have to give up? I can't juggle all of the balls. Right. And that's the thing, you know, I wrote a whole book. You don't have to carry it all ditch the mom guilt and find a better way forward. And we are conditioned to do it all, to do it all alone, to not ask for help because God forbid, if we ask for help, we're weak or we're a failure. And that's very much an American thing. Just like mom guilt is very much an American thing. I mean, globally, Lori, you know, uh, in my research for the book, I, I mean, I talked to sociologists and historians, theologians, experts from all walks, moms to figure out not just like how we can give mothers and working moms the support they need, but the why behind it. And so really unpacking a lot of these stereotypes and unpacking some of the myths. And um, what I learned about mom guilt is that it's very American. Globally, mothers have no choice but to work and they take a lot of pride in working and helping to contribute financially and to provide for the family. But on the other side of that, they have a lot of help and support from their community, from society, from policymakers. So they don't feel the strain and stress of being a, a working mother. First of all, though, they, they, they have to work, okay? So right, here right. in America, it is a privilege to be able to stay home with your children, but it is a privilege that most moms don't have. And um, I, I think untangling the, the mom guilt, it, for me realizing that it's very much an American thing, um, realizing that most moms have to work, realizing that the statistics will show that the children of working moms, the sons turn out to be better partners, more hands-on, the better fathers, the daughters tend, out, tend to, you know, become more confident. So there's so many benefits to being a working mom. And again, most of us have to work, but we also need to find on the other side how we can get that attitudinal support, how we can get the societal support. Um, how we can get the policy support. And a lot of that is it starts with us asking for help. It starts with us choosing not to carry it all. It starts with us not wearing the mommy martyr badge anymore and saying, I can do it all. I can carry it all because guess what? You can carry it all for a little bit, but then you're going to burn out and fry. And that might be why you're in the place that you're in right now, because you're not asking for help. You're trying to do it all. Create that village that you don't have. Offer to babysit for your one of your friend's your neighborhood friends say, I'll take your kids on this Friday, you take mine, create that community and that interdependence. It's hard because we are conditioned to do it all and, and to not ask for help, but create a community where you need one another, right? Where you have that interdependence. And I do have a lot more faith in this next generation, Lori, and here's why, because yes, things did shift after the pandemic, um, the powers with the people most all, the overwhelming majority, 95% of employees, all employees, not just parents, want flex schedule. Um, 70 to 80% want hybrid work locations. We're seeing four day work weeks. We're seeing this, we're, we're seeing this shift a little bit, measure the measurables instead of the nine to five, right? But what gives me great hope is this next generation of fathers, uh, millennial dads spending three times more time with their kids than their father spent with them. Gen Z saying that the number one uh, benefit that they want in the workforce isn't healthcare, it's childcare. And so that gives me a lot of hope that this next generation, say what you want about them, they're going to comprise millennials and Gen Z will comprise 70 to 80% of the modern workforce by 2025. They want something different. And I think this is going to be the generation 
um, because they want something different, this is the generation that's not only going to say we're family friendly, but they're going to do something about it. I love it. I love it. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this episode, please spread the love and share it with your friends. If this is your first time joining us, make sure to click the subscribe button wherever you are listening so you never miss an episode. And while you're there, please leave us a review so other people know that our show is worth the listen. You can also find us on YouTube and Instagram at This Organized Life Podcast. And if you'd like to connect with us, you can head on over to our website at simply the letter B, like boy, organized.com, which is filled with tons of resources, including free downloads, checklists, links to our amazing organizing partners, and all of our digital offerings. I'll see you next week for another episode of This Organized Life.